Hey guys, Sean Bucci, SurplusFundsRiches.net. Got an interesting question today. A fella got a hold of me and said, Hey, what if somebody is a felon? What if they're a felon? Can they work this business, a convicted felon? Well, yes and no. If you are going to be a researcher with us, that shouldn't be an issue. However, if you're doing that's with the National Surplus Funds Program, we're not going to do a background check on you. You're an independent contractor, and you're not involved in any portion of this where that could come into question. So I don't see an issue with that. Um, the Premier 16 program, that's with that one, if you decided to join up with us, you're going to have to do skip tracing. You're going to have to find people. So your options at that point would be either to use okay methods to try to find people and hope that they're easy to find or get a skip tracing system and those guys are going to run a background check on you so you're probably going to need to have a partner in the business with a clean record in order to make that fly okay check with the with the skip tracing companies and what they require but that's the only issue i can see on that end and its secondary follow-up question from this gentleman was okay what about doing it on my own? Well, again, I think the only problem you'd run into is with the skip tracing part. The rest of it should be fine because, again, remember, guys, we're not asking you to be registered finders here. You're participating in the retrieval. So the way we teach it is you hire an attorney and you also use a structured buyout. Give the people 10% of the gross amount being held. Uh, I say up front within two weeks after they sign the documents and get, give whatever else you agree to pay them on the back end. So as a, sorry, somebody just decided to pull out in front of me. Uh, as a result, the skip tracing should be the only issue for you. Most people start as a researcher for us uh, with the national surplus. They get the pro pack, they get the national, they start working national surplus. They get comfortable with the program. Then they start move uh, moving into the skip tracing side with the Premier 16. Uh, and at that point, after they put a couple of bucks in their pocket, either way, with National or Premier 16, after they put a couple of bucks in their pocket, then they go out on their own. We get a lot of people that do that. Um, they basically earn while they learn uh, and then move on while we're doing the heavy lifting on the initial stages. I hope this has answered your question. Um, guys, I'm a libertarian, so the way I look at it is a little different for most people. Yes, I do think that there are certain... Um, huh, let's say unforgivable sins, pedophilia, that type of thing, right? I, th that I have an issue with. But as far as somebody, um, you know, getting in trouble for uh, a small time theft or something like that, and then they do their time, have they done their time or not? If they've done their time, let them go out and be a productive citizen. That's where I'm at with that. I know people are gonna argue, I'd love to hear your, your view on that, but given the number of people we have in jail for small time, uh, you know, weed selling. <laughs> I think it's kind of silly. Anyway, hope that answered your question.